So now we're going to talk about how to change gear and when to change gear. Now to change gear we must always put the clutch down and then select the gear using the gear selector. Now we've talked about the different positions of gears and if you wanted to select first gear you want to put the clutch down, move the gear stick over to the left, palm to this side, so when I'm sat there I usually say palm to me, palm it over so it stays over to the left and then up into first gear. Now if you wanted to go into second gear, palm to me, over to the left that is, and then down into second. It just stays over to the left and make sure it goes down into second. Now if you want to go into third, with a loose grip we want it to return to the middle and then it's straight up from the middle. So you can see in neutral, straight up would be third, straight down would be fourth. So when we're going from second to third we can just use a loose grip, it comes back to the middle and then straight up into third. If you wanted to select fourth gear from third, it's just straight down from third. Things get a little trickier when you decide to change gears going from higher gears down into lower gears. So if we was in third gear for example, we need to palm over to the left, pushing the stick over to the left so as we come down into neutral it goes across and then down into second. That left pressure takes it over to the left, make sure that it stays in second and that it doesn't end up going straight down into fourth. So make sure you apply the pressure to the left before you bring it out of third and it should come across and then go into second no problem. Third to first, the same sort of thing, down into neutral, across and then up into first. A lot of the time you will be driving around in third or fourth gear. So if you wanted to go from fourth to second, we come up, across and down. Generally speaking, we should always set off in first gear and then we should use first to get up to around about 10 miles an hour in most cars. Then use second, up to about 20 miles an hour. Then third, up to about 30 miles an hour. Fourth, up to about 40 mile an hour and then fifth thereafter. There are some exceptions to that. Some small cars built for the city you can drive around in fifth gear at 30 mile an hour no problem. But in this car we're going to use fifth gear at 40 and above. If you're driving at about 40 mile an hour and then you need it to slow down, if you're going between 20 and 30 then third gear would be the best. So use second up to 20, third up to 30. So if you're slowing down to below 30 is going to be third gear. If you're going below 20, you use second gear. If you're going below 10 miles an hour, you're probably going to need first gear. So now I'm going to do some commentary driving where I'm going to drive around and show you how I would change gear, when I would change gear, and explain why I'm changing into a certain gear as I'm doing it. You'll also get the foot shot to show you how I use the clutch and the gas to make sure that the gear changes are very smooth. And I'll talk you through that as I do it. So to move off, I put the clutch down, palm to the left, up into first gear, get to the biting point with a little gas, checking around, left blind spot, left mirror, ahead, interior mirror, right mirror, over the right shoulder, no need to give a signal, there's no one to signal to. You can see as I take my handbrake off, I slowly bring the clutch up, keeping the gas on, and then clutch up all the way. I'm off the clutch, and I rest my foot to the left. It's a very slow moving road this, I'm not going to change gear just yet. Just want to keep an eye on what's going to on ahead of me, very tight, check the mirrors to make sure I know what's behind me as well and then I am going to change gear so I accelerate, now up a hill when you change gear you need to stay in each gear a little bit longer so I've gone to 15, off the gas, clutch down, clutch back up and then I'm going to turn right, so interior right mirror, signal right now clutch goes down, I'm going into first for this one because it's almost stopping, I'm just using a bit of clutch control to hold the car on the biting point not using any brake there, now a little bit of gas, clutch of a touch more, we'll start to move, then I can come off the clutch completely once we're above sort of five miles an hour in first, into second. So I'll check the interior and right mirror, signal right. <coughs> Did that in second because I could see it was safe and we were above 10 miles per hour, so it was safe to do so. Up to 20, into third. Now I don't want to go over 20 because it's a 20 zone, so again I'm just keeping down my mirrors. I don't want to go above 20 so I'm just keeping the car quite slow. I can see a girl wants to cross, I'm going to check the mirror and let her cross. Now the reason I waited for this lady to cross was, I checked the mirror and there was no one behind me at all. I could see she was struggling because she's got a child and a pram. So I just waited patiently, I didn't wave her across and once she was across I went back on my way. I'm going to turn right, interior and right mirror. So 
So here I'm setting off down a hill, it's a slope, so I've got my clutch down, I'm in first gear, I've got my foot brake on, and when it's time to go, I don't really need to get to the biting point, I can come off the foot brake and it starts to roll, then I can give a little gas, bring the clutch up slowly, make sure it's definitely safe to go, and the clutch comes up all the way. Now I'm above 10 miles an hour, in second, clutch back up, a little gas at the same time as my clutch comes up. So again, into third, off the gas, clutch down into third, a little gas as my clutch gets to bite. You can see I'm just bringing the clutch up fairly slowly there, making sure it's a smooth process. I'm going to move over to the left lane, so check the interior and left mirror, signal left, moving over to the left lane. So we're in third gear, I can see that we're going to have to slow down here. So as always, mirror check, start to brake gently, I'm leaving the clutch up in third gear. Once we go below 20, I realise that I'll need second. But the clutch goes down, I'm not going to choose second because I can see that actually we're going to be stopping so there's no point in me going into second. I'll just go into first once we're below 10 miles an hour. Once we've stopped, parking brake on, get to the biting point with a little gas, take the parking brake off, a little bit more gas as I'm slowly bringing the clutch up. I'm going to turn left, so interior left mirror, signal left. Second gear because we're above 10 miles an hour, just keeping an eye on this guy here as we're about to turn, making sure so he knows I'm coming. Second, up to about 20 miles an hour. Off the gas, clutch down, into third, clutch up. I just went near the brake there because we're down the hill. I don't want it running off too fast down the hill. There's your pedestrian crossing, so it's mirror check and for the car there. Keep an eye on the mirrors at all times, seeing what's happening around us. If you watch the video about the use of mirrors, you'll see it in a lot more detail. I'm not really going to explain the mirrors too much as we're going along here, but I will still be checking them. So we're in third gear, we're above 20, we're at 25, I'm going to check the mirror and start slowing down. We're going to go into second because we're below 20, but I think there's a chance we can keep moving. I'm looking to the right, looking ahead, looking to the right, and we can indeed keep moving. Second up to 20, into third. See, I can sometimes just rest my foot on the right hand side there, it just gives me a bit more comfort and control. It's a 30 mile an hour road, this one. I'm going to turn right at the mini roundabout, slowing down below 20. We're going to second. There's a chance we can keep moving, so I'm using second to just keep moving. I'm going to stay off the gas and it'll just keep the car going. I'll brake a little bit as long as I don't go over under 10 miles an hour, it won't stall. You can go very slow, still in second gear. Now I'm slowing down, I'm in second, we can't really go much slower than this, so if these cars keep moving that'd be great, come back off the brake, but it's down at Judah, I'm going to put the clutch down, especially with this truck, so into first gear, not bringing the clutch up because we're not really going anywhere just yet, now I can bring it up at the magic speed of about 5 miles an hour, and the car just keeps moving like this, the car behind felt it necessary to go on the curb, but it wasn't really necessary, now when I stop in queues of traffic I don't want to block side roads, so I'm just checking that there's enough room for me to get past. The traffic's moving off anyway. <coughs> now look, I can still keep the car moving without putting the clutch down. In first, it will keep moving about five miles an hour. Any slower, we'd need to put the clutch down. So we're above 10 miles an hour, I changed into second there. Still keeping an eye on what's going on around us, of course. Up to 20, we're going to third gear now. never making the engine spin too fast when we're doing this. The engine just doesn't want to be howling or growling, it's just a case of keeping the engine spinning at a nice powerful speed without making the engine go too fast. Driving like this is very efficient because you use the gear that's appropriate for the speed and the engine never goes too fast for that gear. There's a slight amount of rain now. So now, we're about 10, 20 mile an hour, we don't want to go any slower than this in third really, it's going to start to struggle if we do. Staying around 20 it will be fine, but any slower than that it might just start to struggle. So we're going to turn left up at the top of here. I'm in third gear, going up the hill, I'm just going to use second, just to get us up the hill comfortably. In third it probably wouldn't like it as I'm slowing down up the hill. So we use second to just get where we're going. And then the clutch goes down, we're going to first. 
and a parking brake on on the hill. A little gas, biting point, and brake off, slowly clutch up while I'm pressing the gas. So we're in first, we didn't have a chance to get in the second before the turn, so we're just taking it steady. As soon as we've straightened up, we're in second gear. Now here, the lights may change and we may be able to keep going in second, but as it happens, we're starting to judder, so clutch goes down into first. That's the gear we now need. Moving up nice and gently there. A little bit of gas just to get us moving. When we change gear, palming it over to the left to make sure it stays in second. Into first as we stop, anticipating that the lights may change. Set the gas, get to the biting point, parking brake off, more gas as you slowly ease the clutch up, and then into second, I'm going to change lanes. The reason I'm changing lanes here is because I know that further ahead, I need the right hand lane to turn right at the roundabout, so I'm just planning ahead for that. So you can see we're in third gear at the moment, travelling at 24 miles an hour, I start to brake, and the lights change. Now I may be able to keep going but we're approaching a roundabout. So if there wasn't a roundabout there I could just continue in third but I'm going to go into second as we approach the roundabout. I'm looking over to the right and I can see quite a lot of traffic actually. Looks down so I'm going back into first. Now we can set off this way. We don't have to put the parking brake on every time. If you've got fast feet you can do this. You can press the gas clutch to the bike Stop it rolling quite instantly, and then we're away. I'm going to take the next road on the right, so interior and right mirror. Signal right. Positioning in the box. Clutch goes down because I'm going below 20, below 10 miles an hour into first and then we can use the clutch control to just keep the car moving. Into second once we're above 10. I'm going to check the mirrors and signal right. Now most turns you can actually do into second gear because if I stay off the gas now the car will just keep pulling us round at about 10 miles an hour. So I can press the gas a little bit more, come off it if we need to slow back down. Remember, we're using second to get up to about 20 and then changing into third, generally speaking. Sometimes if you're going up a hill, you've got to leave it in each gear a little bit longer. If you're going down a hill, you can actually change gear a little bit earlier. But generally speaking, second up to about 20. Turning left at the end of here, so check the interior and left mirror, signal left. Slowing down now, I'm not going to come out of here in second because I don't really have a very good view to my right. So I'll go down into first and then I can just use the clutch control, the clutch bite, just to get the car moving again into second as soon as I've straightened the wheel. Turning right, mirrors, signal, and again just staying off the gas, it just lets you go around about 10 12 miles an hour without a problem. Here I'm going to check the mirrors before slowing, use the brake gently. Now there, the gear didn't need to be changed. I slowed down, I didn't put my clutch down too early, so I knew that second was still working. So we got down to about 10 miles an hour and the car started to move off. So that way I was able to just press the gas and keep moving. Now I'm in third, the lights might change on me. If they do, then I definitely know I'm going to need first after that. I'm going to turn left at this roundabout, so check the mirrors and signal left. I'm breaking in the gear I'm in, the clutch goes down when the engine tells me, but now I realise I need first, so there's no point in going into second when I know that I'm going to need first. I can just skip second. It's called block shifting. You don't have to always go through the gears when, you, when you're changing gears, especially when you're going down the gears. So press the gas, get to the bike, take the parking brake off, slowly clutch up as I'm pressing the gas more, into second before the bend preferentially, 
Now down this road here I can just take it nice and easy, staying on the brake a little bit, keeping it around about 20 miles an hour, nice and steady. Now I can go up into third gear, just checking the mirrors as well before we accelerate. We get up to four, uh, up to 30 mile an hour and into fourth. So it's a 40 mile an hour road so I can use fourth to get up to 40 and then I'm going to go into fifth. I'm going to stay at 40 in fifth, keeping the engine speed to a minimum so that we're using less fuel, less engine noise, and it's just a smoother drive. So the lights are changing, I'm still in fifth, but this van's going to make me slow down. I could change lanes, but I know it's turning. I'm going just down about 30, so I'm going to go back into fourth, and then get back up to 40. Remember, third up to 30, fourth up to 40. So we're up to 40 mile an hour now, but we're going up a hill. Now if I put it in fifth, it might struggle because we're going up a hill so we use each gear for longer if we're going up a hill so earlier I said fourth up to 40 but we're not going to go into fifth because it might struggle so now it's juddering a little bit clutch goes down now I can see that I'm only going, I'm still above 10 miles an hour, I'm below 20, so second gear is the gear for me. There's no point in going into first there. So that will come with time where you make that instant decision of what gear to use when something like that happens. I've had the experience, so the more you drive the more you'll be able to anticipate things like lights changing, cars moving off, and then you'll be able to match the speed of the engine to the gear for that particular situation. So we're above 20 now, I'm going to go back into third. And then we can see ahead there's someone stood at the pedestrian crossing, so we use the brakes and put the clutch down. I went into first gear, put the handbrake on, and I'm just going to wait for these two to cross and wait for a green light. going into second, second up to about 20, into third, so coming through this part of the village I'm in second gear, going between sort of 10 and 20 mile an hour, that's the perfect gear for it, it enables you to go really slow if you need to, but also speed up when you need to going to be turning left at the traffic light so interior left mirror signal left second gear is going to work here I'm just going to slow down to as slow as we can get down to about 10 miles an hour which is a really tight turn but we still can use second for tight turns any slower than that we did need it first instead so again up to 20 into third slight hill but not too bad third gear is quite comfortable with it Reasons to slow down, reasons to check the mirrors here. It's very tight up this road, so I'm checking the interior and right mirror before I pass this car. Looking past the car to make sure it's safe for us to go around, make sure I can give that, that clearance that I need to. Check the mirror again before slowing. So driving along here, I'm in fourth gear, and then all of a sudden it gets a little bit foggy. So I'm checking the mirrors to see what's around me. Staying at 30 as always, so the speed cameras don't really bother me because I'm never going over the speed limit anywhere. And that's what you should think. People think speed cameras are a hazard. They're not. They shouldn't be slowing you down. You shouldn't be driving that fast anywhere. So people pulling out there like the bus, check the mirror. Now I'm in fourth, I've had to slow down a bit, so I'm going back into third. Got down to about 25 miles an hour there, so third is better between 20 and 30. Looking down the road again it's, it's getting really foggy actually. Potential hazard ahead, the road on the right. Now people might struggle to see us in the fog if it's a little bit thicker down here. So I'm checking the mirrors, I'm just slowing down a little, staying in third, no one coming out of the junction. I'm making sure that if they did 
I'll be ready to react. I'm going back into fourth now because 30 mile an hour fourth gear works fine. The fog seems to have cleared a little. Now as I, enter, as I enter this road I see this sign and it says that it's a national speed limit road. So the speed limit is a <coughs> so the road is a single carriageway and it's a national speed limit road. So the speed limit is 60 miles an hour along here. Which may seem a bit excessive, but what, what that's saying is that you can go up to a maximum of 60 mile an hour until we see a sign that says otherwise. Now looking at this road ahead you wouldn't want to do 60 up here there's warning signs telling you of a winding road bends in the road cars parked up um, it's a little bit narrow it's a steep hill you can't see around the bend so why would you do 60 well you don't have to but the point is that at some point along this road you could get up to a maximum of 60 if it's safe to do so so I'm going into second for this bend because I've gone down below 20 and it's quite tight and it's up a hill so no, I don't want to do 60, but I'm going to use 2nd to get above 20 and then go back into 3rd. Now another bend, always keeping an eye on what's happening around us, keeping over to the left on the right hand bends to try and get a better view around them. So up to a maximum of 60 apparently, but still I don't want to do 60 on this road, staying in 3rd gear, 30 miles an hour. Now I get a bit of a clearer view, I can see it might be safer to go a bit faster, so I check the mirrors before I increase the speed into fourth and we're going to get up above 40 miles an hour give this van plenty of room but we can go faster because it's a 60 mile an hour maximum speed limit road now there's a bit of loose gravel there so we don't want to go too fast and then there's more bends coming up so check the mirror and start slowing down we're getting below 40 now but fourth gear will still work between 30 and 40 now I see this really steep hill so I'm going back down into third and I may end up using second down here, we'll see. I'm using the brake to slow down, and we're going to see whether or not I need to go below 20. Now this is a pretty tight turn, so I don't really know what's around this bend. There could be horses, there could be pedestrians. So I've gone into second, just to make sure that I can control the car down this road. Now remember, it's a 60 mile an hour road, but this is not suitable to do 60. We're not going to get up to 60 mile an hour on a road like this at this point. So again, checking the mirrors as we approach this very tight bend, Second gear is still going to work down to about 10 miles an hour, so I'm going to slow right down to about 10 miles an hour. Passing the steering wheel, keeping control. If anyone comes too fast, I'll be able to react. So we're down the worst of that now. I'm using second to get up to about 20. And then I'm going to go into third. Now we can see the speed limit does change back to 30 now, so it's no longer National Speed Limit Road. It's a 30 mile an hour road, maximum. I'm going to turn right at the end of this road, so interior and right mirror. Signal right, the markings are faded, but they are there. From third into first. I'm going to keep the car rolling a little bit so I can just keep it moving using the biting point. And then away we go with a little gas into second. Now I'm just pushing it over. I'm now going to third. I'm pushing it over when I go into second, keep that left pressure. I don't need to exaggerate it to the left, um, but initially when I teach people, I do get them to exaggerate it to the left. But as long as you're giving it that left pressure, like this, then it's going to go over into second. Now there I've brought the clutch up a lot slower because we're going a little bit quicker for second. So let's just do that again. As I'm slowing down, and say I want to go back into second, I use the brakes initially to slow down and then once I'm below 20 I put the clutch down going in second but if I just bring the clutch up straight away it'll be very jerky so I bring it up smoothly and slowly and it's less jerky. I'm going to turn left at the end. I'm approaching in second at the moment, I'm not going straight out in second, can't really see well enough to do that. So into first but I'm still rolling a little, press the gas, clutch to bite, I can see it's safe to continue. So the clutch comes up all the way, into second once I'm straight, I'm checking the mirrors, now I'm going to accelerate into third, up to about 30, into fourth, up to about 40, this is a 50 mile an hour road so I'm going to fifth, 
we're getting up to about 15th, fifth gear. So there we are, we're at 50 miles an hour now in fifth gear, and then I see these signs telling me to slow down. Well, the markings on the floor say slow down, and the signs say that there's a slippery road and there's roads on the right. So we've slowed down to about 40, but fifth gear is still working because we're over 40. Now, again, another road sign that says there's a bend to the right, so I check the interior and right mirror and start to brake gently. Leaving it in fifth because I'm still going at 40 mile an hour and it's still going to work. If I went below 40, I'd go into fourth. If I went below 30, I'd go into third. If I went below 20, I'd go into second. And if I go below 10, I'd go into first gear. So more hazard here, potentially crossroads and maybe horses. So I'm just breaking a little bit more. I am going to go into fourth gear. Just because I'm traveling at 34, I want to make sure it's safe before I get back up to speed. Now the speed limit changes down here back to 30. Now I'm in fourth, I can use fourth, but I'm going to be turning right at these crossroads. So check the mirrors and signal. I'm going to slow down quite a lot. So I'm in fourth gear, I want to do the turn in second, so I'm going to go into second and bring the clutch up. Now I can see that it's safe to go, I don't have to stop. If I had to stop, I'd then go into first gear. But the second gear worked nicely for me. Once we're above second, up into third. Once we're above 20, up into third. Once we're around about 30, into fourth. Down the hill, it might want to roll off a bit faster, so I'll probably go back into third if this is a long hill. But as it happens, it's a short hill. We need to give way at the end of it, so mirrors and signal clutch goes down. I'm not going to use second because I don't think I can see very well. So down into first instead. Just keeping the car rolling and then clutch up, checking the mirrors, using everything I can to get a good view of what's happening in the new road. Second up to 20, then into third. I'm going to turn right at the end of this road. down from third to first keeping the car rolling a little while I have a look a little bit of gas clutch up slowly and then away we go into second once we're straightened up checking the mirrors using the brake down the hill so it doesn't go too fast I don't want to go into third just yet because I know there's a tight bend here And then looking down the hill I can see it changes to 20 so I'm not going to go into third, I'm just going to use the brakes to slow down, check the mirror first as always, use the brakes to slow down, get us to 20 and then that's the speed I'll be driving in this area, 20 miles an hour, until it says otherwise. We've got a lot of speed bumps coming up so I'm checking the mirror, just taking it easy over these speed bumps. Second gear is fine because we're going between 10 and 20 miles an hour. mirrors before passing parked cars. Just staying, staying in second gear around about 20 miles an hour, slowing down a little bit more for the speed bumps. So interior and right mirror to pass the parked cars. We've got to stay out a little bit just because that parked car. Nice and steady over the speed bumps. Checking the mirrors, seeing what's happening all around us. Gently over the speed bumps. Trying to get them as central as we can. Some are a lot more severe than others. I feel these ones are quite bumpy. I'm just trying to get them as central as I can, but going very slow. That's the whole point of them. It's not just about getting them so they don't bump, it's about slowing down, because that's what they're there for. So turn left at this mini roundabout, which is very hard to see. Mirrors on signal. Looking up to the right. You can see it's safe to continue. Second gear is very flexible like that. You can go quite slow while you're having a look. And then if it's safe, you can continue and pick up some speed. Still in a 20 zone, so we're just staying 
in second gear up this hill past this speed camera and because it's a 20 zone we will stick to 20 anyway. Now this sign warns us that there's a T-junction where the priority goes round to the right. We're going to turn left so I'm going to check the mirrors, signal left. Staying in second gear, it is working, we don't have to go below 10 miles an hour unless there's something around this corner that makes us, so the second gear is fine. Check the mirrors before we pass the parked vehicles. Now the speed limit changed back to 30 back there, so I'm going to use third to get up to 30. Once I'm up to 30 I can go into fourth and then I'm just sticking at around about 40, uh, 30 mile an hour in fourth gear, not 40. See another sign here that warns us of potential horse riders on horseback. So I'm just checking to see how close the car is behind, driving along, sticking to that 30 mile an hour speed limit. On roads like this people sometimes think that it shouldn't be 30 but we saw a sign that said it was this could potentially be a faster moving road. You might come onto this road and think that it's a national speed limit because it isn't really built up. But there are street lights and the sign told us it's 30, so we're sticking to that. Now we see a sign here, it bends round to the right and there's a little road on the left. So again, I'm checking to see what's happening behind me. Fourth gear's still working, but I'm going to go into third just for the bend, just to make sure I've got the control I need. Back up to 30, I'll go back into fourth. See, it says slow on the road, so it's telling me to slow down below the speed limit for some reason. The reason probably is there's a bit of a bend coming up and there is a crossroad. I know that from experience. So I'm going back into third just for the approach to this crossroad. At the crossroads, we're going to follow the road ahead. So I'm checking the mirrors. I'll check all around. I'm going down into first gear from third as I slow down to stop. So once I stop there, can't really see very well so I'm just going to have to edge out a little bit, looking both ways and ahead as I do that to make sure it's safe to continue. Into second once we're above 10 miles an hour, second up to about 20, into third. Now third up to about 30. Now we're in a 30 mile an hour zone at the moment but we see the national speed limit change. So now we can accelerate a little bit more, we're going to fourth to get up to 40. So we can see we're picking up some speed there, 60 mile an hour speed limit, we've got a truck on the right. Just going to check the mirror, I can't really see what's happening around this bend, so I've checked the mirror and I'm going to start braking to slow. Still above 30, so fourth gear is fine. Looking down the road, got a bit of a better view now, so I can pick up a little bit more speed, checking the mirrors first. Again, looking further down the road, got a better view. I'm just covering the brake, using it a little bit just to stop it going too fast. I don't really know what's around this slight bend here, so I'm just keeping the speed at a speed where I'd be able to stop if I needed to. Now we see some warning triangle signs, one that says bend to the left and slow on the road. So checking the mirror, I'm going to slow a little. I'm going to go back into third gear because this road narrows on both sides. I don't want to come round here at 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, so I'm doing 30, just below 30 because I don't know what's round this bend, I'm still checking the mirrors to see what's happening. Now we get a slight, slightly better view, but the road has narrowed on both sides still, so it's a little bit awkward, we don't want to be going too fast, you can see if a car comes on the wrong side of the road, it's going to get a little bit tight, and there we see another hazard, someone parked up, so I'm checking the mirrors before I'm passing in, there is a car coming towards me, I can get back in before that gets there. But you can see why you wouldn't want to be doing 60 at that point. Now we see the reminder that it tells us that it's still 60. So we're going to increase the speed a little bit and go back into fourth. Then I see riders on horseback, so let's clean the windscreen here. I'm going to check the mirror and slow down in third, between 20 and 30. There's a reason not to do 60. Then I'm going to check the mirrors and increase the speed again, but then it's saying slow on the road for some reason So I'm not going to go above 30. I'm going to stay in third gear And I'm going to look down the road and see what's going on check the mirror I can see a speed limit change so there is a sign behind that tree that says 30 I'm currently doing 24 anyway, but you can see the reason there's more traffic down here. It's more built up 
There are street lights on both sides of the road down here, further down, so we know it is a built up area. We're going round this bend, very tight bends these, very narrow roads. If you see a tractor in this area, um, it's going to get very, very narrow and tight for us. So I'm not even doing 30, even though I'm in the speed limit zone of 30. There's a reason not to do 30, and that's because it's so tight. It's opened up a little bit, I've got a bit of a better view. So I've gone back up to 30, still just keeping on the brake a little and staying in third. We're not going to we're not going to go into fourth. Just looking down the road again, checking the mirror, see what's happening. It's very narrow. Wall on both sides, it changes to 20. There must be a reason for that. It must get even narrower, or there must be a playground or a school or plenty of cars parked up. So we're going to second actually for that one. I want to be below 20 because you can see this is really, really narrow. Checking the mirrors before passing the parked cars. We see a warning sign that says that there is a school down here. Checking the mirror, there is a car behind me, it's not too close. There's a skip in the road on the left and the bend that goes round to the left again. Checking the mirrors, pigeon in the road, not a problem. Just taking it easy down here. I like to lean and look round this bend to see what's going on. If we see a car coming, I need to decide what to do. And that is, I check the mirrors and slow down and go into first. Now it gets really tight there, so I don't really want to scrape past these cars on the left. That's why I slowed down so much. Again, check the mirrors, we're going to stop and let this guy come through. I check the mirrors before we pass back out. So that's why we're going so slow there, you don't really know what's around the next bend. And with all the parked cars on our side, we need to make sure it's definitely safe. And the slower you go, the more time you've got to react to things like the learner car coming towards us there. We've got priority according to the sign and the speed limit changes back to 30. So I'm going to go into third, use third to get up to 30. Now we can look along this road and see that it is quite safe to do the 30 mile an hour speed limit. Not much going along, not much going on along this road. See a person in the road, I'm going to check the mirrors. We are turning right, there is a sign that says there's a road on the right, that's the road we're turning on. So I'm checking the mirrors, signalling right. Second gear for most turns, let's see what this one's like. We approach it in second, have a look. It's pretty tight and there's a van, so I'm going to go into first instead. Let's turn that corner very, very carefully. So we approached it in second, but then I realised as I got closer to it, that second wasn't the appropriate gear. I wanted to go a little bit slower than that, so I put it in first and use the slow moving pace of first to get around that corner carefully. Now down here we've got the pavement on the left, it's not pavement but it's pretending to be one. So we don't really want to cross that part, that solid white line if we can help it. I'm not crossing it at the moment but if something large comes I might have to. We can see it's for people walking down this road. So if something comes now I'd stop and let them get past before going past the pedestrian. So I've checked the mirrors and I'm Moving out past the pedestrian, checking again to come back in. Looking further down the road. Our road comes to an end, but we've got these parked cars quite close to the junction. So I'm checking the mirrors before I pass them. Just being careful of anyone coming around this corner. We're turning left at the end, so I've checked the mirrors, signal left. Into first as I stop. It's safe to go. Into second. Use second to get up above 20, into third, it's a 40 mile an hour road, so I'm going to use third to get up to 30 and then use fourth to get up to 40. Once I'm up to 40, I'm going to go into fifth. Now it says that there could be elderly people crossing the road, there is someone getting in the car, I'm going to give them plenty of room. It's a single lane at the moment, so I'm just giving plenty of room on my left. It's starting to rain a little bit, I'm going to turn on the wind windscreen wipers. <coughs> so we're doing 40 at the moment, cars behind us, slightly catching us, check the mirrors before I pass these parked cars. We've got a bus lane on the left, we are allowed to drive in the bus lane because it isn't that time. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon so I'm allowed to drive in the bus lane and I should drive in the bus lane. Always drive in the furthest left lane unless you need the other lanes for some other reason. This is your normal driving position in the left lane. We're only not allowed to use this bus lane during the times on the sign. Now it changes back to 30 down here, so I'm going to check the mirrors and slow. We need to go back into third gear because that's the sort of speed that third gear is needed for, between 20 and 30. Now I do actually need to get into the right hand lane at some point, 
but as I'm checking the mirrors I see this blue car approaching so I'm going to let it get past first and then I'm going to signal right gain to this right hand lane the reason I need the right hand lane is I'm changing direction up here I'm going to turn right at the next set of traffic lights so I'll check the mirrors and the lights have changed so I'm going to first gear as I'm about to stop so away we go into second gear once we're above 10 we're hoping we can get through these we're hoping we can get through in second but we're ready to stop if we need to they didn't change, we got through before the change and then round the corner we go second up to about 20 then into third warning sign says there's a roundabout coming so I'm going to turn left at the roundabout first exit interior and left mirror signal left into second on approach get a clutch up all the way looking over to the right they're not turning this way I can turn myself check the right hand mirror before passing this parked car into third once we're up to 20 so I'm checking the mirrors I can see that there is a pedestrian crossing that's the reason why I'm checking the interior especially check the right mirror before we pass these parked cars more warning signs telling us that the road narrows on both sides worth a mirror check and the school <coughs> but we've only just checked the mirror so that's fine Just staying on the brake, staying in third gear so it doesn't go off down the hill at too fast a speed. Using the brake if I need to, this car's turning so I've checked the mirrors interior right. I've got enough room to pass it and then I'll be checking the mirrors before going back over to the left. Lights could change so I'll check the mirror again, the car coming quite quick behind. They didn't change before we got there but the speed limit's going to change to 20. Now down the hill, we're going to use second down the hill so it doesn't go too fast the engine braking in second can stop the car from rolling off too fast again checking the mirrors to see what's happening around us we can see there is a truck there's a lot of activity down here so we've gone in the first because we're below 10 miles an hour just checking those mirrors again before we pass all these parked vehicles taking our time I am going to go into third now because we've got a much clearer view ahead I'm already doing 20 we want to keep efficient. I'm just using the brake slightly just to stop the car from rolling off too fast. Checking the mirrors as we come down this road. See there is someone very close to me and there's a guy that wants to cross the road. I'm just braking a little bit more just in case he steps out. Checking that right hand mirror to go past the parked car. Checking the interior mirror to see how close the car is behind me. Just braking a bit more just so it doesn't run off down the road. <coughs> going to turn left at the traffic lights so interior and left mirror signal left start slowing with the brake we're in third clutch down no chance of using second now it's too slow so into first if the lights change just as we get to that point we could put it in second and keep moving but on this occasion they didn't if the pause becomes away I'll put the parking brake on but I've got a feeling these are going to change soon and there we have it, so we come off the brake, little gas, clutch up slowly, clutch up all the way, into second, I've already done my little bit of turn that was needed. Notice I'm not changing gear while I'm steering, I get the steering on first and then change gear. So we're using third to get up to 30, into fourth once we're up to 30, no problem. As we're turning left at the end of this road, so I check the interior and left mirror, signal left, position over to the left, Slowing down now, I've got a much better view to my right, so I'm going to use second, get the clutch up all the way, and I can actually keep moving there. So into second, and then third, up to 30 mile an hour, and then fourth once we're at 